Hi, my name is Elena, and I am graduating from Frost School Music at University of Miami this year. And this is not my typical type of content. It's usually music related, so be sure to subscribe for that. But today I wanted to talk about my honest review and like pros and cons regarding Frost and University of Miami in general. I, I also should mention, I had a unique experience where um, this is my third year. I'm graduating a year early, but I also was remote my first year, so it's only my second year here in person. I'm gonna do some timestamps either in the description or comments, so if you only want to hear about certain things, there's a lot of things that I want to talk about, so you can press on any of those. Um, and at the end, I'm gonna basically say whether I think it's worth it. Um, but I'm gonna start off with the classes at Frost. Um, the pros would be fun assignments. I think that they're pretty unique and entertaining and very applicable to what we're doing. There's also a lot of opportunity for collaboration, which could be a bad thing. I've had some not so great experiences here um, with the partners I've been assigned. But it's definitely good to get the chance to collaborate with other musicians, especially if you're not going to go out of your way to ask other students here to collaborate with you. Um, the class size is also really good. For the most part, the classes are pretty small, um, which gives you a lot more chance to interact with the teacher and the students. Forum is also a really good class in general. Basically, each Friday, a different person from the music industry comes in and talks with us and it's pretty cool to hear all their stories and apparently before I got here Alessia Cara did it so I'm jealous because I love that girl so they've got some pretty cool people my first year theory class was also really great you would think that theory is gonna be pretty boring but it was actually a really engaging class and it just really exceeded expectations in a lot of ways not only did it make theory not boring but I hate being called on in a class. Like, if, if I'm not raising my hand, do not talk to me. He would call on us, but it, it didn't feel stressful. So I really liked that. Um, the teacher that I had is not here currently, but I'm sure they run the classes pretty similarly anyway. There's also very knowledgeable and experienced teachers, which is a really good thing. As for the cons, the biggest one, and this applies for basically any skills class, and some other classes as well, it feels like we're not really learning. And I understand that with music, application is really the most important thing to do, I guess. But a lot of classes will be, you get an assignment, you go home, do the assignment, come into class, we listen to everyone's assignment. There's some feedback, but mainly it's just listening to the assignments. And, you know, it'll be stuff like, here's a songwriting prompt, write a song that follows this structure or make a song inspired by the 80s. And that's really fun and it's helpful to do those things, but you can also just look up songwriting prompt or 80s song and then model your song off of it. So that's been, it's a, it's, it's a pro in the sense that I'm having a lot of fun doing these assignments and it's nice to not have to worry, oh great, another lecture, another whatever. But, you know, it's stuff that you can do on your own without paying the prices of college. Um, also, I have noticed sometimes like lack of care from teachers, especially with like in regards to responding to emails. Some teachers do not like to do that. And that's fine, but it's, I don't love it. There was also one assignment that I really, really, really did not like. It was, it, it would have been such a great assignment. Long story short, I had to pay $50 for an ad campaign for another student. I don't know why we couldn't just each do our own ad campaign for $50. No, we had to do $150 for one member of a three-person group. Moving on. On to lessons. So this... Is probably my favorite thing about Frost is the lessons. Pros would be the teachers, for the most part, are so great, so nice, amazing. You are also really in control, which I love. So, you know, you can go to your voice lesson, not even sing. You can get just really useful life lessons. Um, sometimes I'll, I'll come into my lesson and be like, this is what's going on with my gigs. This is what's going on my, with my music video. This is what I need help with. And she will really help me out with all of that. And I love it. The only con, I did have one teacher when we were supposed to meet on Zoom lessons. Um, 
they just would not show up and they were great they were a great person they just would not show up to lessons and um I ended up switching so it was fine but yeah anyway moving on to the students at Frost I'm not going to touch on this too much because obviously one they change as people graduate and come in two it's very much about you as a person and I also found my friends outside of Frost but the good things are most if not everyone is willing to collaborate if you have a gig coming up and you need to get a band together you can ask basically any of the instrumentalists and most of them are interested in doing that and these are connections that really can last a while outside of college as well which is a good thing cons at least on my behalf on in, within my experiences there's definitely a lot of clicks i've also had some experiences with some people mm, a little full of themselves a little fake but that's gonna happen everywhere it's not exclusive to frost frost is not the exception there's some fakers out there anyway let's move on to my favorite thing the on-campus activities now this is like I love fun things free things and that's exactly what they've got like every day there's something fun something free love it there's so many different groups that put these events on and my friends and I go to basically all of them and we get there super early so that we can get all the freebies and whatever I actually am planning to make a video again be sure to subscribe I'm planning to make a video when I get home for the summer where I show off and talk about not show off just show all the free things and talk about a lot of these different things but I won't get into that now but there's Kane's Night Live every month there's this a night nighttime Kane's Night Live event where there's all sorts of fun things going on. HP Concerts holds um, concerts with artists like Flo Rida, Kiana Lede, um, Grace Remmerd, Marky Basie. Those are the ones that have happened or are going to happen while I'm here. There's events at the Rascaler like Fan Fridays. There's been like Taylor Swift Night, Harry Styles Night, Boy Band Night, etc. And other activities that aren't fan related. Well, there are other fan related. Like there was Stranger Things, the 80s Night disco party and there's stuff that's even different from that too there's like a cowboy themed one the other day and then there's these daytime activities like a valentine's day one a spring break one there's cac which puts on every week they show a different movie i've seen some great movies there and it's free they always have like a raffle where you can win stuff and they've got um some usually they've got snacks or something like that the one con is that people will cut in line, obviously. Duh. It's just annoying when they're giving away free stuff and you're waiting outside in the heat for like half an hour and then somebody comes in, just gets right in front of you. I don't like it, but it's going to happen no matter what. Anyway, on to the music opportunities. There's actually a lot of really good ones. Um, off campus, there's a lot. I won't get into all that, but, you know, if anyone leaves a comment, I can talk about some of those. But on campus, there is Coffee House and Patio Jams, which are two opportunities to do a full set. Coffee House also has an open mic night, um, so if you don't want to do a full set, you can go over and just do one thing. But yeah, both of those give you a chance to perform on campus. This is the con. Patio Jams can be more selective. Like, they've had the same people play multiple times. I feel like they should give more people a chance, but honestly, you know, it's up to them. There's also HP Concerts that I talked about before. It has a student opener for every show, so that's really cool. You can get to open for some big... As for food options, I only had one year. Like, last year, I went to the dining hall and had dining dollars. This year, I just have dining dollars, and I buy, food, like, groceries. I think one of the good things is guest wipes. Uh, and now it's not really that much of a thing because I'm pretty sure they decreased the amount but it's nice to have guest swipes like my friends sometimes since I don't have dining hall swipes anymore sometimes they'll just swipe me in with a guest swipe and I get to go to the dining hall um and if you have a guest come over like if your family's in town you can use a guest swipe on them there's some good options I like Panda Express a lot the Rathskeller has good food you know good food on campus the dining halls were fine I I, I don't miss them but you know it it was good it was very acceptable. 
the only con I would say there could be some more variety like for one I love Italian food there's no like Italian place on campus but it's really not a big deal now as for housing I, I won't get as much into dorms because it's been a while since I was in the dorms but um right now I'm living off campus but close enough that I can get there um pretty easily and I really like the place I'm staying it was a really good deal um like more than enough space for it's not that big but I like to do most things on my bed so it's more than enough space for me and honestly like it was more than enough space for me in the dorm as well but the cons with the dorms would be the bathroom situation sucks there's no locks at least one time someone knocked I said I'm in here then I hear the door open and I make eye contact with someone while I'm on the toilet. That wasn't fun. But yeah, and just the bathroom situation in general, just do not like it. Um, there's also, you can choose your roommate. There was actually a lot of problems with that too, though. Um, you know, I got that figured out, but there, there were some problems. But you can't choose your suite mates. And I know my friends right now are having some issues with their suite mates. So that's another thing. Laundry is also a major, major, major con. Um, whether you're in the dorms or not, I'm in a place where I don't have laundry, so I have to haul this big suitcase full of clothes onto campus, sneak into the dorms and do my laundry, which is, like, absolutely horrifying. But even doing your laundry when you live in the dorms isn't great because people have no patience. So, you know, I will set an alarm for when it's done, and, like, I would go maybe, like, five minutes after my alarm rings, and somebody already has gone in and moved all my stuff on top of the machine. To be fair, though, I do see on the other end of things, like, sometimes I'll see people's stuff is still in there and I'm like, now I can't do my laundry because all the things are full, even though they're done with the cycle. So maybe if someone thought, you know, she must have finished the cycle an hour ago and still hasn't got her stuff, I'm going to just take it out. But yeah, so that's that. As for the transportation system... Pros would be Safe Ride is super nice. Basically, after the shuttle stop running on Monday through Friday, you can call in for a free Safe Ride and they can bring you from any one spot on campus to any other spot. So since I live close by to UV, I will get a ride from campus to UV and then I get myself a little bit closer to where I live. And then the shuttles are also really nice because once again, I'm by UV, so I'll walk to UV, take the shuttle to campus so I don't have to walk all the way. The metro is also super, super good if you want to go off campus and you don't have a car. I've definitely gone, done a lot of exploration on the metro and it's cheap, obviously, and I love it. Cons would be if you are taking like an Uber or a, one time I took the bus to the Marine campus, the shuttle that they provide on campus and traffic is really, really bad here. Also, if you do not have a car and you want to go shopping, that can be disastrous. There is a market on campus, but it's pretty overpriced. But say I want to go to Publix, um, especially when I get milk at Publix and then I'm walking home in the heat. One time, just went right through my bag. The bag broke and everything fell out. My chocolate milk fell out. I was sad. Um, so then I had to carry the chocolate milk and everything in my arms. So yeah, walking back from the store is really not a pleasant experience, but you know, if you do have a dining plan, you don't even need to do that. And I mean, you can order an Uber. So. The counseling center, um, the pros, it's so great to be able to have free therapy because therapy has been something that I've wanted to do for a while, but I don't, I, I didn't have any issue that I felt was pressing enough to have my parents paying for me to talk about them. So now I can finally like talk with a therapist without anyone paying for it. Um, I mean, I guess besides the tuition paying for it, or is that the term? I don't know, whatever is going to the school. And then there's also a relaxation room, which is really nice. I went there once. Um, it's got a massage chair, so you can do that. That's really cool. Cons would be, it's pretty infrequent, and um, I don't mind this at all because it's ended up working out where like, I was really tired anyway, or busy. Um, but I've, I've only had like maybe three or four meetings so far. And two of them we had to reschedule. If you don't like being rescheduled, that could be an issue. And then also, um, yeah, like I said, it's pretty infrequent. Like I, I'm going sometimes three weeks between talking. And it's like, for me, I have a lot going on in my life. So even day to day, 
what I'm gonna want to talk about like completely changes so I'll say to her like oh yeah I really wanted to get into this as well but I guess next time we'll get into it next time comes and then there's like a million new updates so that's a little difficult but it's not too big of an issue also last year I had some encounters with some pretty rude people from the counseling center and I was like this is a counseling center you're supposed to be caring and nice here now being in Miami in general pros there's just so many fun things. Like, some of my favorite places I've been that I really love. I love Dadeland Mall. Kind of random, but I really like it. Miami Beach. There's definitely some issues with Miami Beach, but overall, it's really fun. Um, Brickle. Brickle is so great. I love Brickle. Um, cons would be so sweaty and hot, obviously, but I'm, I'm also someone that likes wearing long clothing. I feel like the only time... I mean, obviously, now I'm wearing my sweatshirt. Um, which was a freebie from on campus, but yeah, I, the only time I can really wear stuff like this in Miami is if I'm in my room with my fan on, um, but yeah, like, I, I like wearing long sleeves, long pants, and don't really get to do that as much, but I also like wearing shorts and short sleeves, so whatever. There's also very, like, sporadic rain. I feel like this year I haven't had that many issues, but in the past week, the rain has just gotten a little bit crazy, like... There was one day, and I had, a, I had a show. It was an outdoor show. And in the middle, it started raining a little. And then during my last song, it started pouring. Yeah, the rain can be pretty unexpected here. So I would say if, if you're here, bring an umbrella around with you. Um, and then, you know, like I said, Miami Beach. Sometimes there's some crazy people, especially on the buses. Anyway, finally, finally, finally. The big question. Is it worth it? I would say if you're in state, I would assume yes, it is. For To do four years as an out-of-state student, I don't think it would be. Because like I said, a lot of these classes, you can find stuff online. Even forum. Like I said, I love forum. But you can just look up interviews with music industry professionals. You can look up songwriting prompts, etc., for how much it, it you would be paying, I don't know. However, as in my circumstance, doing three years, um, one of them being remote, like I, basically, if you're in a situation where the cost can be dramatically lowered, like skipping a year, getting a scholarship, those things really helped me feel like it was more worth it. But if you can make it worth it for whoever's paying, if you can cut down the cost then I think it's worth it. There is, I've, I've definitely grown so much as a person and a musician coming here um, and has so many great times, great memories. I do not regret coming here whatsoever. Um, I'm happy that I did, but I do feel like to do four years as an out-of-state student without a large scholarship, I don't think it would be worth it. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and be sure to subscribe, like this video, comment if you have any other questions. Yeah.